right guys so before we have a look at the full scholarship for today let's quickly have a look at the benefits that this scholarship offers so as you can see on the screen financial assistance or the financial benefits they provide so um the commonwealth shared scholarships are jointly funded by the commonwealth scholarship committee and participating uk universities each scholarship provides so if you are selected for this scholarship you are entitled to approved lfa approved fa from the scholarships um, scholars home country to the uk and return at the end of the award so if you are offered they will sponsor your flight ticket and also the scholarship secretariat will not reimburse the cost of fees for dependents nor the cost of journeys made before the award is confirmed so you need to make sure your travel falls within the stipulated time range so that you will get all your financial benefits also the scholarship covers approved tuition fees okay and also living monthly living stipend at a rate of 1347 pounds thousand pounds or 1652 pounds per month that's if you live in london metropolis because the standard of living in london is quite higher compared to the other parts of the country and also they will give you some allowances for warm clothing because we are in we'll be getting to the renter very soon and you need some clothes to keep you warm and also if your course is um, a thesis or um, 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 a research course they will give you some funds towards that also they will sponsor your travel within the uk or any travel related to the course and also any test tuberculosis test you need to carry it out for your visa application to they will sponsor if you have a child if a scholar has children and is widowed okay so if you have a child and you are widowed divorced or a single parent then each child the first child will get 576 um, pounds per month that's for the first child under the age of 18 years um, sorry under the age of 16 and the second child will also get 143 pounds per month so the first child will get 576.61 pounds per month the second or any other child will have 143 um 143 pounds per month that's to, to support your living in the uk and in case a scholar is disabled they will carry out a disability assessment to know the extent of your demands but i mean so this scholarship covers all the um your course of study in the uk now let's have a look at the scholarship in entirety so the commonwealth shared scholarship shared you know the commonwealth scholarship um, committee has three main scholarship programs so this shared scholarship is one of the three so you need to note that and it's shared because it's a partnership between this the commonwealth scholarships commission and some selected uk universities so you need to note that so overview the commonwealth shared scholarship program is one of three so as i earlier mentioned it's one of three master's programs offered by the commonwealth scholarship commission okay and the main aim of this scholarship is to contribute to development needs of commonwealth countries we'll be having a look at the countries that falls under this category by providing training for skilled and qualified professionals and academics who would not otherwise have been able to study in the uk okay intended beneficiaries so high quality postgraduate students from least developed and middle income countries and also countries that are fragile and affected by conflicts who have not studied for a year or more in a high income country before who would not otherwise afford to study in the uk so if you are if you are from a least or middle income least, least developed 
or middle income country or if your country is affected with a conflict then you are eligible for this scholarship okay and it's normally for 12 years and the application process is diff giving some uk selected uk universities a certain number of slots so the schools do their own um, selection process and they will submit the list to the commonwealth scholarship commission for approval and finalization so let's look at how to apply so applications for commonwealth share scholarship for 2024-2025 academic year are now open the deadline okay so the deadline for submitting an application is 14th december by four o'clock greenwich meridian time the scholarships are for study in the uk beginning next year september october okay so you need to submit your application by 14th december notwithstanding you know you need to apply to the uk university first and you apply for the scholarship so you need to make sure you have the deadlines of that particular university in mind so that you are able to balance between the two i will show you the list of those universities in a minute if you still tag along also the commonwealth scholarship commission is unable to accept any applications or documentation not submitted via the online application system so the link is under the video and that's the link to the online application system so we can quickly have a look at how the online application system so this is the online application system so you just select your country so let's say ghana you just select your country then it will ask you to log in or create account then you go ahead with the application and you can only use this online application to submit all your documents and the application unlike the other commonwealth scholarships where you will need to go to your country's scholarship secretariat or any government representative in your country for you to get selected this particular one is quite flexible you can submit the application yourself and you choose which particular university you are interested in so this is very open and it's very straightforward okay so let's see so let's look at the list of approved courses list of approved courses okay so the courses have been categorized into six sessions we have the access inclusion and opportunity courses so you see the course hmm? you see the course and you see the university that offers that program so if you are interested in any of these programs you just go to the university website apply to the program and apply to the university then you apply for the scholarship as well and also we have promoting innovation and entrepreneurship so promoting innovation and entrepreneurship too does the courses and the um, sponsoring university so that's how it goes so we have science and technology for development so we have science and technology so that's the universities and that's the courses they offer so each category and the universities and the courses they offer so all the links are under the video just take your time and see which university and the course you are interested in so that you can submit your application all right now let's look at the participating universities participating universities as i earlier loaded they give each university you know the university initially in my previous video i told you the universities tender the, uh, the opportunity to be part and after um, a thorough recruitment process they will shortlist and select which universities will take part in the scholarship shared scholarship so yes so um this so we have two slots here okay and then bangor university also has four slots okay we have bonamov university four slots we have brunel university four slots so you just need to we have the cranfield university eight slots mm -hmm. and one thing is 
you can apply to as many schools and programs you want. However, you can only accept one scholarship. Okay, so in case you, if you apply to five universities and you are selected for two or three, you need to only select one and go with. All right, so we've seen the courses, we've seen the universities. Okay, so you just need to know which course you want to offer and which university you are interested in. So you can go to the viewed approved program so that you know the programs that are qualified to be part of this scholarship scheme so that you select your choice. Um, I hope you guys are tagging along. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if you don't understand anything. Now let's look at the supporting documentation. So um, you need to proof you need to prove your citizenship that's a passport to any national ID and also you need to add transcripts of your um, higher education qualifications. And remember this scholarship is just for masters, undergraduates and PhDs does not qualify for this. And they said no documentation will be set will be accepted outside the online application system so you only need to submit all your applications through the online application system okay so they have lots of advice in choosing a university we have advice for applicants so i'll leave the link under the video so that you can read more about it and submit your application we have the applicant eligibility this is very essential so let's quickly have a look Let's quickly have a look. So to be considered for these scholarships, applicants must be a citizen or have been granted refugee status by an eligible Commonwealth country. Okay, and you need to be a resident permit in a Commonwealth country. So guys, you need to just see the eligibility requirements. And then now let's see the eligible countries. Okay. So let's see. So these are the countries that are under the Commonwealth. We have Bangladesh, Botswana, Belize, Cameroon, Dominica, Etswani, Fiji, Gabon, Ghana, Grenada. So you just need to go through to make sure your country is accepted for this scholarship. So guys, this is an amazing opportunity. So we have the selection process and the selection, each UK university does their own selection. So you need to make sure you follow the requirements for the university so that you can be accepted into the course and also the tenure and placement. And this is only for participating UK universities. Okay. And scholarships are obtained um, just for a full-time study all right so we've we've had a look at the financial assistance which is very lucrative okay so guys if you are interested the link is under the video so you just need to make sure you check the course you check the university you want to apply to and make sure you you meet all their requirements you need to meet the requirements for the university and you need to meet the requirements for the scholarship so that you have the opportunity to part so i'll leave you here and i wish you all the best for now and i'll see you soon